गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन माई सेल्फ प्रवालिका फ्रॉम सी एस डी रोल नंबर टू टू एच फाइव वन एट सिक्स सेवन टू फोर माई सेल्फ निकिता टू टू एच फाइव वन एट सिक्स सेवन जीरो फोर माई सेल्फ शिव गुरु टू टू एच फाइव वन एट सिक्स सेवन डबल फोर माई सेल्फ ओम श्री कृष्णा टू टू एच फाइव वन एट सिक्स सेवन टू वन माई सेल्फ सृजन डबल टू एच फाइव वन एट सिक्स सेवन थ्री टू सो आर प्रोजेक्ट टाइटल इज रोबोस फाइव एज वी ऑल हैव आर वाइट बोर्ड इन आर क्लास रूम्स so our faculty is facing trouble while uh, arranging the boards or uh, sometimes faculty may not be having the dusters with them uh, when they come to the classes so we have come up with a solution like our board is rotating uh, when we will we have uh, dusters back side so our, our dusters are contact with the board and board will be getting rotated to an arduino pro, uh, code and uh, uh, and motor drive so we are uh, given the connections to the arduino and the motor drive using potentiometer controlling its uh, speed so our our board will be uh, controlled through a switch so if we turn on this switch the board gets rotated and uh, it gets contact with the duster so the board gets rotated backwards and it, uh, it gets erased the existing solutions for this problem are electronic white boards and where the board is constant and the duster will be moved from up and down with a help of a stick when using a motors but our proposed solution is here the board will be rolling with an integrated rolling system and the dust will be constant at the back by we use a motor and an arduino to rotate the board and they will be co-rotated in the arduino to operate this using a switch by our existing solution we just rotate this rolling sheet and the dust will be constant we can we switch on the motor the board rotates and it will be erased with the help of the dust at the back the component used in this uh, project is the it, uh, we have used a 10 volt motor and a 12 volt battery And we have given the power uh, in the in case of uh, absence of battery, we give we given the power supply of uh, with the help of 12 volt adapter, adapter. And we use Arduino and uh, a potential meter is also used. And we use a uh, motor driver which controls the voltage from the uh, Arduino, which uh, uh, Arduino supplies only 5 volts, so it uh, helps to uh, generate more power with low voltage. So uh, it is the point uh, uh, we have used. Uh, We have used the jumper wires and a switch which controls the rotation of the board. Uh, coming to the block diagram of the project, is uh, just a simple mechanism where the motor is uh, controlled by just a potentiometer. As you, as you can see in the video such that here the potentiometer is connected to the Arduino, whereas the potentiometer can be controlled with the help of the Arduino. And the outlets of the Arduino are given to the motor driver because here we use a, a motor of 10 volt battery such that it requires more power. But the mo- the maximum output power of an Arduino is only 5 volts. So in that case, we use the motor driver as an external battery source. So here for the motor driver, for the positive, we can give two. Uh, this can be uh, given input power in the two ways, either through the adapter or a 12 volt battery. If we give in case of a adapter, the positive can be connected to the one of, one, end, one end of the adapter, as you can see here, and the negative is connected to another end of the adapter. Whereas uh, the The negative is directly connected to the ground of the Arduino, and the outlets of the motor wire are directly connected to the motor. So, coming to the working mechanism, whenever we switch on the motor, it would uh, the Arduino and the relay would uh, and Arduino and the motor driver would switch on, and later on when we give the power supply by using the adapter, uh, the power starts the power uh, the power starts utilizing by the motor, so that the motor just rotates. And therefore, it gets erased. This uh, the coming to the advantages of this board are only used in erasing the board. But in case of the uh, adjust, this can be used in case of adjustment also. For example, if I have uh, have a height problem while writing a board, or if I have any shoulder pain while writing a board, in case of the faculty, uh, every time we need to use the right like this. But in case he would get a pain every time. So if we use this board, then he can start writing from the middle of the board. And whenever we want to just. Uh, Uh, don't want to erase, but everyone need to copy the notes. Then, then uh, here potentiometer is just like it acts as a regulator, such that you can adjust the speed. So that if something is written here, they, uh, it can be rolled like this, and it can come up here, so that the faculty can uh, continue the writing itself, whereas the board not gets erased. And uh, coming to the uh, this can, this project can also be uh, developed some more like uh, this can be used uh, by saving the electric power instead of using the thermal energy. It can be also used by Uh, we can improve by uh, uh, having the solar energy as the source of power and that's it uh, when we discuss about the drawbacks of the project is uh, major drawback is a cost because uh, for building up this uh, project it takes uh, 
we uh, constructed a Arduino board motor. It leads to uh, more fast. And second thing is power consumption. If this equipment uh, continuously runs for several times, it leads to more uh, power consumption. At last, uh, we are concluding that uh, we have developed a project called RoboSwipe. Here, the board moves up and down using a switch. And uh, duster is placed at the back side of the board, which is used to clean the written part in the board. And, uh, uh, board and this board is a portable. Uh, it is mainly useful in the educational institutions. And major components of the equipment are the Arduino board and the motor. Thank you.